Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my 24 week pregnancy update. I cannot believe that I'm officially six months pregnant. We are over halfway there. I'm super excited. I've also definitely been feeling more pregnant lately. And I will go ahead and get into my symptoms and tell you guys what this week has been so all this about. week has been pretty interesting so far. Um, where I live, the pollen has been coming out, so I've been having super bad allergy issues. I thought I was getting sick, but it has just been allergies. Um, I've been having issues where my nasal passages, like on the inside, will swell up so much where I can barely breathe. Like I can look in there and see them and just see how swollen they are. And it's been super miserable. Thankfully, the past two days now, I have been feeling a lot better, but I was so miserable. Um, I called my nurse and I was talking to her about it and she told me to start taking, um, I was taking Sudafed um, and Benadryl, which wasn't really helping. So I decided to go ahead and stop because I was on it for like over a week and I realized that none of my symptoms were helping. And I'm like one of those people when I'm pregnant, I don't like to take medicine. I don't um, really like to take anything like that unless I really have to. So I was definitely pretty miserable to even take the medicine in the first place. But thankfully, I'm feeling so much better. Um, I have found though that whenever that does happen and like they do get so swollen that it's really hard to breathe. Um... I put like something cold like on my nose and it just kind of like helps reduce the swelling and everything. Um, I found that no medications or anything really help. So between that and just using saline spray if I need it. Um, I also like would sleep up like on a pillow a couple nights. Um, turn my neck a little bit but at least I could breathe. <laughs> Hopefully that stays away because it is super uncomfortable to be pregnant and have that stuffiness going on. If you've seen my other videos I've been like a stuffy pregnant lady ever since I've been pregnant um, and so with these allergies coming on it just made it so much worse. Another symptom that I've been having is extreme fatigue again. I don't know where it came from. Um, I felt like maybe this symptom wouldn't really be coming back until the end of my pregnancy when I'm super big and super exhausted but I already feel super big and super exhausted. I don't know like how much my belly is fully grown. I feel like I've gotten a lot bigger but I guess We'll have to see. I'll be. I'll look at my other video and compare the belly shot there. But Harley, I can tell, has gotten so much bigger. I believe she's like over a pound now. Um, about like a foot long, like 11 point something inches at least. And I can feel her everywhere. Um, my last video, I told you guys. I think it was my last video about how I have an anterior placenta, so my placenta is on the outside. And I can normally feel her like on the right side right here a lot. So I feel like it's kind of over here um, where it's located. But with that being said, I can feel all of her kicks outside, inside. I swear she sits there and like kicks random organs that I don't even know what they are. Um, so yeah, that's pretty uncomfortable sometimes. She definitely is a pretty active baby. I swear she barely sleeps throughout the day. She's normally active all day long and I can feel just about everything she does. So, um, which I'm so thankful for because I love feeling her little moves, but sometimes it definitely gets uncomfortable. Um, at only 24 weeks, she's already up in my rib cage, um, all over my bladder, <laughs> like just everywhere. So I cannot imagine how much bigger I'm going to get and how much stronger these kicks are going to be. Some pretty fun things have been going on. We are planning my baby shower. We are actually doing it at the end of April, so I will only be seven months pregnant, but the way that I plan that is, my, first of all, we're going on a big vacation in May, and my son's birthday is in June, and then at that point, I'll be eight, almost nine months pregnant. So between all the planning of that and 4th of July and all these holidays coming up, we decided to go ahead and do the baby shower at the end of April, that way before everyone's graduation, wedding, parties, and all of that, people will most likely be more free at this time of the year. So we went ahead and did that, um, just sent out the invitations and everything. So I'm super excited for that. I've registered at Babies Are Us. Um, it's definitely interesting registering my second time around because I thought that I would like remember all of these things that baby needs, but I definitely found myself at a loss and it took quite some time to get 
everything and I kept forgetting things. Thankfully, we started our registry like super early on, which I totally suggest because it, it has taken so much stress off of me and I've just been able to go online and kind of just like tweak it a little bit, add a few things here and there instead of having to go um, rush and do that right before. We have also started on Baby Girls Nursery, which I will be doing a nursery tour after we get that all completed. Um, we were super excited. We've had the crib up for like weeks now. Um, I have her bedding. We did like a little DIY wall decor thing this past weekend and have that up. Um, I've organized her closet quite a bit and just kind of figuring out everything and how I want it to be. The room is definitely the smallest bedroom in our house. Um, so it's been kind of difficult trying to manage that and kind of figure out where we want everything. Um, but yeah, it's been super fun. I love having all the pink up in there, which you guys will see in my nursery tour, how cute everything is. Um, we also have been buying not too, too much. Um, my mom and I have both separately and together done some shopping for her. She has quite a few clothes, her closet, they're already hung up and I just went ahead and divided them by ages. And then I did um, buy a, let's see, I have the bassinet that I'm gonna use. And I have a little rocker thing, one of those mamaroos, not like the super fancy one. I think it's just like the original, it just like goes back and forth and it has the little Bluetooth or the, um, the like iPhone connector on it for music. And I went ahead and put those things together so I know that they work and everything. The bassinet and the mamaroo I actually found a, at a liquidated store where they were like so much cheaper than what they would have been. So I went ahead and just picked those items up a couple months ago. That way I wouldn't have to worry about it. And I know I wasn't too, too picky about the bassinet because they really only sleep in it for a short period of time. And I know it's important like to have something that you like because you'll be extremely new and postpartum. But I feel pretty comfortable with what I have. And after she's done using it at our house I'll probably just bring it to my mom's and she can take naps in it there and everything I am planning on breastfeeding so I've been doing some research on all of that um, I breastfed my son for about three months and this time I definitely plan on going longer as long as I can as long as everything is good with me and baby health wise and that we can do that um, I've looked at bottles and I believe I'm going with like the Tommy Tippy brand which is what I went for with my son as well. So if any of you guys are like new moms or just have done some more research, let me know what um, bottles and brands you're choosing for your baby. So anyways, I guess I will go ahead and give you guys a belly shot and then I will see you in my next one. So I'm just wearing a tank top from Target, a maternity tank top. These are literally a lifesaver if you have not checked out their maternity line show you. I'm just going to take this off. That is it with the shirt on. The front. And the shirt up. I feel like I've definitely gotten bigger. You can definitely see my line now, and my belly button is starting to pop at the top a little bit. 